Let's pray. Father, we thank you again now. Lord, Lord, here we are in our Nicaragua. This is it for us. Lord, I realize fully that most of us, most people here, will never get a chance to go somewhere else. But Lord, we're here. This is our place. This is where you've called us to. This is where we live. And Lord, there are people everywhere. Help us, we pray, to see people like you see people. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Verse that is in 2 Corinthians, it says, For the love of Christ, the love of Christ constrains me. The love of Christ, how much did Christ love us? He loved us to the point that he was willing to go to the cross and shed his blood for us so that we might live forever and ever. That is the love of Christ. And we read that in 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 23, For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. When he had broken and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. The love of Christ constrains us. After the same manner also I took the cup. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, that this do ye as often as ye drink it, remembrance of me. The love of Christ constrains us. We do not come to the table today out of a sense of duty, but because the love of Christ constrains us to come. It begs us to come. It invites us to come to this table. Why is it that we to reach people. I, I said yesterday to the men at our prayer meeting, I always try to examine, the Bible says here in, in 1 Corinthians 11 to examine ourselves, why am I standing up here today? What, what puts me up here today? Why do I knock on strangers' doors? Because the love of Christ constrains us to do so. Not because I have to. Well, you have to stand up here. You're the preacher. No. I could leave today, I suppose. Be a hard day, but I could. But I'm not. Why? Because the love of Christ constrains me to be here. Why is it that we read our Bibles? Love of Christ. Why is it that we give? Love of Christ. Why do we give the missions? Love of Christ. Not because out of a sense of duty that we do it, but out of a sense of love. And that love was manifested when Jesus died on the cross and paid my debt and your debt, the people who live on this road debt, and in Lewis County and New York State and America and the world. The love of Christ constrains us to do what we do. And we thank him for that. As we come to the table today, examine your heart. Somebody said, I heard somebody this morning say this. We're here because we love Jesus. Look at your heart. Make sure. That's why you're here. You say, well, preacher, I fail. So is the preacher. Everybody fails. It's okay. The love of Christ constrains us. That's why he died. Jesus died for a bunch of failures so that we might live forever. And the love of Christ constrains us. Father, we thank you again. Now, Lord, for this opportunity, one more time, Lord, to partake of the Lord's table. Lord, and we do it in remembrance of you, of your great sacrifice and your great love for us at Calvary. The love of Christ. Let me think about that. The love of Christ. Lord, Help us to catch at least a little snippet, a little glimpse, a little taste, a little portion of, Lord Jesus, how much you love me and love us, we pray. Bless our table. In Jesus' name, amen.